Hey guys, so here's a problem that was sent in today, and I will be proving that if we have an integer n that is greater than 1 and is composite, then this implies that there exists an integer m that is greater than 1 and less than or equal to the square root of n, such that m divides n. So alternatively, we can think about this statement as we have an integer n that is composite, therefore it has factors other than one in itself, and we want to show that one of these factors will always be less than or equal to the square root of n. So by the definition of a composite number, we can say that n is equal to a times b, where a and b are both natural numbers, and these do not equal one or n, because n is a composite number. And we'll take a, to a and b to be factors of n, where a corresponds to the lesser factor. So I'll write that as a is less than or equal to b. So let's go ahead and prove this by contradiction. So let's assume that a is greater than the square root of n. So the reason why I want to use contradiction is if we can show that there is a contradiction, then we can imply that a must be less than or equal to the square root of n. So the goal here is to reach a contradiction. So if we have a is greater than the square root of n, and then we have b is greater than or equal to a, then we can also say that b is greater than the square root of n. So the product a times b has to be greater than the square root of n times square root of n, which equals n. So we've come to the conclusion that a b is greater than n. But originally we assumed that a b is equal to n. Therefore this is a contradiction, so we can assume that this is not true, and this is true. So since n is equal to ab, this means that a divides n, and then we've also showed that a is less than or equal to the square root of n through contradiction. And since n is composite, we know that a does not equal 1, therefore we can conclude that there exists an integer m and the natural numbers that is greater than one and less than or equal to the square root of n such that m divides n. And in this case, m is equal to a. 